clearly this is the age of entrepreneurship and you're always hearing amazing stories about companies people are starting and selling for millions of dollars to Google or to Amazon. But what I want to do today is encourage each of you guys to redefine what entrepreneurship means. And so for me, entrepreneurship means expanding the boundaries and the frame of whatever context that you are in today. Absorb apps, they're not just normal apps, they're really like taps, they're tiny applications. And so what you do is you just click the button and it will send your location to the contact prescribed in the slider bar at the top. So my name is Grace, I'm, I'm VP of Design at Lean Start Machine. I uh, am here at TLC Labs for their little internal hackathon. It's their very first hackathon, I'm here mentoring them on Lean Startup and validation and user experience. I think if someone had told me that software is really about humanity, that it's really about helping people by using computer technology, it would have changed my outlook a lot earlier. Welcome to Max's Thirsty Lemonade Program. I'm Max. That's short for Max He's a small business owner and entrepreneur. This is my mom and money manager. I learned all about money from her. I wrote a kid's book series about money. Can I have some money? Showed me all about the value of a dollar, setting goals, and spending wisely. You teach kids so many things. Why not how to budget and save money from a young age? I have run businesses, bought businesses, consulted to businesses, and in my experience, nothing motivates future success as much as celebrating past performances. I speak all over the country on issues of leadership, management, high performance, and most importantly, driving towards business goals. I think that advertising is doing something very good, especially as we examine the next category, and that is dropping the convention of the typical brief. Who's my target audience and um, what message do I have to get across? And instead it's saying, who's my target audience? What is the cultural vernacular that's, that's theirs? And what is the problem I'm here to solve? And if we look at it as problem solving, then we don't come at advertising with, okay, so I'm doing integrated work and what's my 30 second spot and what's my promo in store and what's my, and what's my, if you're solving a problem, then again, you've got a blank canvas. No media can dictate the way in which you solve that problem. Trendseeder, emerging designers, exclusive finds, exquisite style. That's what we do. Trendseeder is the place to find the hottest new designers from all over the world. My name is Elise Santora. I am playing the role of Abuela Claudia. I am Puerto Rican, Cuban, and I am the first generation American, born in the Bronx, New York, so that makes me New Yorkan plus Cuba. My advice to anyone, entrepreneurs, people in business, people in any effect, uh, sector is that the path to success is never quite what you imagined it would be and the point from A to B and the point from A to your happiness is never quite what you had planned. It is said that laughter is the best medicine. A year ago a group of New York volunteers adopted this tagline and created Cherub Improv. Since then more than 40 people from all walks of life joined to perform comedy for others who are less fortunate. I didn't see any organization that was providing an opportunity for performers who, who do improv mm -hmm. to uh, go to senior centers or nursing homes, so I decided to form my own group. Cherub Improv focuses on the sick, the homeless, the elderly and children. You can't get rid of fear, but it can be a really good supporting player, but not the star of your life. Resilience resides in retrospection. 
a cousin of regret. What would you be rid of? What would set your spirit free? For me, resilience, it wasn't in the fight. It was in the surrender. Thank you. Mm -hmm.